Good morning everyone. We're back to the regular old GoPro microphone today because the last few days were horrible. The audio was horrible. I'm sorry. I tried something new. It didn't work. I apologize. I was wrong. We're leaving Kitchener, Ontario. 300 meters. Turn left on Fountain Street North. We've got a day of driving ahead of us to get us to Quebec. We have a load waiting for us in the town of Valcourt. Valcourt, Quebec. It loads tomorrow at 11 a.m. So I'm gonna get there tonight, park nearby, get ourselves ready, load up in the morning, and that load is taking me home. I actually have a delivery on it right in my hometown which is pretty neat. Three deliveries around Southern Manitoba. That worked out. Zephane. yesterday into Drayton, Ontario. Sort of hung around this morning and oh, half the afternoon waiting for a load going back and finally one fell into our lap. And we're gonna go get it. I just have to hike on over to Quebec to go get it. Well that's okay, it'll be worth it. As long as these wheels are moving. So there's a lot of comments in my comment section all the time wondering, you know, what do I get paid per mile? Do I get paid empty miles? I get paid per load. So I, I get paid per job. Not by the mile. So most drivers in Canada and the United States will get paid by the mile. Even here in Canada, even though we use the metric system and everything's in kilometers an hour, trucking is still based on miles. So you'll get paid by the mile, even if you're a Canadian-based driver, usually. But me, I just go by the load. So when I, there's nothing on my trailer, no, I'm not uh, making any money. I make my money when I pick up a load and deliver it. And that has to include my empty miles to get to my next load. Or the empty miles to get to this load, you know what I mean? Beautiful town here of Kitchener. These houses here. In 400 meters, wow. turn right on Victoria Street North, Highway 7. Dude, there's a sidewalk on the other side. The, the sidewalk where you don't have to be on the road with the big trucks jogging down the highway. Literally a sidewalk right there. Paved. Beautiful, tremendous sidewalk. No, it's not good enough for him. Not good enough. He wants to put his life at risk. He lives for danger. Dangerous, his middle name. When he said goodbye to his wife and kids, said, I'm going out for a jog. I don't know if I'm going to make it back. I'm going to go jogging right down the road with all the big trucks. I don't use sidewalks. All right, we are trucking into the greater Toronto area. In three kilometers. Keep to the left on Donald Cartier Freeway, Highway 401 Express. It's known to everyone here as the GTA. And I've told this joke before, but... Toronto's a different kind of place. It seems that wherever you go across Canada, everyone hates Toronto. But when you come to Toronto, it seems everyone in Toronto has no idea the rest of Canada exists. So we're just coming into the outskirts here. We're gonna have some traffic to deal with. I am pretty sure of it. Probably on the other side of the city. Because this is sort of from the west going east. We're coming into the city 
and everybody is going out right now. It is rush hour. The time is quarter after five. So you can bet once we hit about that center point, traffic is going to start plugging up with everybody trying to get out of the city. One kilometer, keep to the left on McDonald Cartier Freeway, Highway 401 Express. And I don't blame them for wanting to get out. In 800 meters, keep to the left on McDonald Cartier Freeway, Highway 401 Express. Toronto's a unique place. It is different than all of Canada. It, it's, it is like its own little city-state. It's like a different country. But it is inside of Canada. So if you come to visit Canada, and you just go to Toronto, and nowhere else, you come to, come to Toronto and you go back home to the US or Europe or wherever you're from, don't go telling everybody back home that, oh, I've been to Canada. I've been, I've been there, I know all about it. No, no, be specific. Say, I've been to Toronto, which is in Canada. One city of a vast, large nation. I have seen a corner, a pocket of Canada. That's like me saying, oh, hey, I've been to Lincoln, Nebraska. I've been to, I, I know all about the United States. I've been to New York. And New York is kind of iconic, right? Just like Toronto is iconic. Everybody, everybody who I meet in the U.S. when I'm traveling and they say they've been to Canada. And I ask them, where have you been? Like 9.9 .9 times out of 10. Oh, I've been to Toronto. Hey, do you know Greg? He lives in Toronto. That's like me talking to someone from Nebraska and being like, yeah, I've been to the US. Do you know Bob? He lives in New York. Do you know him? You get that all the time. You, you kind of laugh and chuckle at what I'm saying now. You get my joke, right? But it happens a lot. Like, oh, it's a big thing. Any Canadian can verify that if they go to the U.S., they're going to be asked, hey, do you know this and this a person? They live in Toronto. Or I've been to Canada, I've been to Toronto. And meanwhile, like, people from Nova Scotia. <laughs> There's people from the Yukon. Northern Weeba, it's a big place. But I'm just babbling on here. I'm half joking. But every joke has some truth in it, right? All of Canada hates Toronto. All of Toronto doesn't know the rest of Canada exists. That's the best way to put it. <laughs> I don't know, are you from Toronto? Do you think that's funny? Do you think that's true? I'm not trying to insult you. It's a beautiful city. You got a beautiful city here and uh, you got a lot going on. All I'm saying is there's a lot more to our big, great country than uh, one city. Nothing wrong with being unique and different. Nothing wrong with that. We take pride in that where I'm from in Steinbeck. We're different. You come to Steinbeck, it's a different culture than Winnipeg, even though we're only 45 minutes away. Different culture, and we take pride in that. We want to be different. We don't want to be like everyone else, so good for you, Toronto. Good for you. Now all you got to do is get your uh, Toronto Maple Leafs to win a game every now and then, right? Then you're set. Here's that traffic backup I was telling you about. That was nice. You know, all you have to do is put your signal on and I would have made room for him. But, oh, you did it for them, you wouldn't do it for me. Okay, I see, I see. I'm just a trucker. <laughs> so I'd like to be one lane over, but I don't think that's gonna happen for a little bit. And as I'm going through this congested area of Toronto, I prefer to be in this center lane because the lane to my right, the far right lane is gonna exit right away. The lane to my right is usually the lane that's constantly got traffic entering and exiting the freeway. So I like to leave that lane available for people who wanna get off the freeway and people who wanna get on the freeway. As soon as I'm out of the city, I move back over to the right. 100 meters, keep to the left on Highway 401. This left lane to my left, there's no trucks allowed in that lane. So that's a lane for cars to just zip through. At least it's supposed to be a faster lane for the cars, right? So the way this city sort of works, in my mind, I mean, everybody's, there's always those like lane Nazis out there that, hey, get in the right lane, get in the right lane. Well, I will once I'm out of the city where there's constant traffic entering and exiting, right? So the left lane, fast lane for the cars. Center lane here, through traffic. 
traffic that's staying on the freeway, not entering, not exiting, just going through. Right lane, that's the lane you want to be in if you're exiting soon or leave it open for people to get on. Keep to the left on Highway 401 East RTE 401 Because if you stay in that lane, guaranteed you're going to waste at least a half hour getting through this city because you're constantly going to be slowing down for people who want to get in front of you. You let one person in, three other people are going to try to cut in front of you. And it's just going to keep happening and happening and happening. You're not going to be able to get anywhere. Cars are faster and zippier, right? They'll always zip in front of you and plug up that hole in front of you. So if you want to get through the city, stay in the through lane. But at the same time, when traffic is moving smoothly and there's not this congestion, I would again move over to the right. It's just during congestion. That's that's the way I've always done it, and uh, I get through the city the fastest that way. Traffic isn't held up. Nothing more annoying though than a center lane Larry that uh, stays in the center lane even when there's no congestion, right? I totally understand that. If there's no congestion, no traffic on the highway, what are you doing in the center lane, right? Does that make sense? got there? He's gonna hit him. He's gonna hit him. Look how close he is. That was so close. What was he doing? That he, I could see him like reaching for something in his back seat. He wasn't watching where he was going. Wow. We lost our sunlight. I'm on the way up. I'm still in Ontario. Just stopping by this uh, truck stop here real quick. I wanted to run in and grab a coffee if I could. Eee, I don't know how packed it's going to be here. It's pretty packed, I bet. Yikes. Yikes. They have a Tim Hortons at this location, so of course. Meters. Make a U-turn if possible. Of course it's just going to be complete chaos, right? fuel pumps, so I felt okay with my decision. You guys are parking all over the place. I'm glad I'm not parking here overnight. I do have a spot picked out in Quebec where I want to park. I just hope that there's going to be parking there when I get there, because we're going to be there pretty late. Like, really late. Like, even later than I'd like to be. Where are you going, bud? Are you going through the pumps or are you coming in here? All right, you got your high beam on there, buddy. Oh my goodness. Ouch. Take Smokes. the freeway entrance on Highway 401 East, McDonald Cartier Freeway. I don't want to 
wonder what goes through their heads, right? Who drives into a truck stop with their high beams on? There's a big blue light on your dashboard that says, hey, you're blinding everybody, by the way. Who does that? More people than you would expect. I'll tell you that. All right, to Quebec. Had a bathroom break too, I'm good to go. In 100 meters, take the freeway entrance on Highway 401 East, McDonald Cartier Freeway. Straight ahead toward Cornwall. It's a wall of corn. They named their town after it, Cornwall. I remember stopping there years ago, several times. Lots of memories. Well, I'm in Quebec now and uh, I just paid the toll to go around Montreal. $17.40, what? The last time I came through here, it was $9.50, $9.50. $9 almost double. What, I was through here like what? Not even a year ago? It doubled? Quebec, what's going on? What in the world? I mean, I know about inflation, but inflation isn't 100%. What? Whole, a whole bunch of things I wanna say right now I can't say on YouTube. Well, we drove late into the night and got here pretty late, well after dark. Wasn't very good lighting and I was pretty tired. I wanted to get straight to bed. So I went straight to sleep, got a good night's rest, and now I'm getting loaded the next day. So I guess I've got to continue this in tomorrow's video. So today's vlog, pretty much the main the main highlight was Toronto. Mm. I went through Toronto and up the 401. So after I get loaded here in tomorrow's vlog, I'm gonna be headed back west to Winnipeg. I have to wait in the truck here until they're done, until they give me the signal. I think they're about to give me the signal. Yeah, here it is. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so I'm done. I gotta go tie this down now. I have two options to get back home to Winnipeg. I can either go the northern road through Quebec and Highway 11, or I can take the more southern route through Ottawa and the 17. I think that's the route I'm gonna take, is that's the route that gets me around Montreal. I do not wanna go through Montreal. If I take 11, I've gotta go straight through there under the tunnel, tons of construction tons of traffic no thank you it's 100 kilometers or 60 miles further to take the 17 but i still think it'll be faster than going straight through montreal so i had to move into the uh strapping area I'm quickly strap this down it's raining so that'll be fun but i have to end this we're gonna go up to montreal take the a30 it's that expensive tollway to go all the way it was 17 dollars and 40 cents did i tell you that i did i think i did it used to be nine dollars like 950 the last time I went through it was 9.50. How long ago was that? Like a, maybe a year ago? Probably not even a year. What happened? Quebec, get in my comment section right now. What happened to your toll road A30? Why is it so much more expensive all of a sudden? Almost doubled. Crazy. So anyway, we're gonna take that expensive road A30 to avoid the Montreal traffic because even though it's expensive, the wear and tear on my patience is more expensive going through the city. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and come see me again tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Time. Be able to go home.